my name is Talisha Blanchard. I'm 27 years old. I'm a student here at Dell Tech, entrepreneurship major here at Georgetown. And in Dover, I'm taking baking and pastry skills. Um, the product that I'm just um, rolling out now are my candy shot glasses. Um, I was, about a year or so ago, I was like eight months pregnant with my daughter, and I was uh, carousing on Facebook, and I came across this page, and there was like, how to make your own candy shot glasses from like the little rainbow mints or the starlight mints, and I was like, oh my gosh, like you've ever seen uh, like your life flash before your eyes, when well, my future flash before my eyes. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. So I started off making Jolly Rancher shot glasses, and I was like, well, I'll probably have to get uh, all this permission from Jolly Rancher. And then I was at a party, and I was talking to some people there about um, my candy shot glasses. And they were like, well, why don't you just make the candy, and you can flavor it however you want. So I was like, that is a great idea. But I didn't know how to make candy at that time, so I did a little bit of research, and then I've been tinkering with my recipe, and I think I finally got it. So now I make the candy shot glasses, um, make the candy just straight, and like the li I have like a limitless possibility of flavors that I can make. So I'm just going to start with five now because you kind of confuse people when you throw too much at them. So here I have um, cherry, lemonade, uh, mango, and pineapple for everyone to take with them. And please let me know how you like them. <laughs> but um, I'm at the point now, like I just finally got my food permit um, through the health department in um, Delaware, and I got I got that on Monday. I'm going to be renting a kitchen in Dover. Um, I did have a hard time finding a kitchen down here, so I kind of got frustrated, and I was like, I'm just going to open my own kitchen, and then I realized how much work it was. So I'm just going to make the drive to Dover, and I can make about 1,000 in 12 hours, so I'm going to rent the kitchen for 10 hours and r make as many as I can. But where I am now, I just kind of need to figure out where I'm going to start. Like, I have a few people that are interested, but I'm trying to break even as soon as possible. <laughs> so um, I was thinking about going to Dover Downs, and then I know a few people that have um, bars and restaurants. But, like, the more I think about it, the more I realize that I have, like, no competition, and it's virtually like an untapped market. So I'm thinking about, like, convenience stores and gas stations and Walmart and any place that sells liquor, which is a lot. And also, they don't even have to be for alcohol. They can be like for kids' parties because they're small. The only thing is that they're sticky. So I have them in resealable um, packaging so you can just hold them inside of there, flip it up and hold it inside of there and drink and then flip it back and take it with you. And, they're, and I haven't been able to use one since I've been doing it like they last a really, really, really long time. But um, this is the first business that I want to have. Eventually, I want to open up a bakery in Sussex County area. That's why I'm going to uh, Dover for bacon and pastry skills. But um, I'm very, very excited about these candy shot glasses. I feel like I can really do a lot with that. And then I can also teach other people to do it so they can be doing that while I go into other business ventures. So, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Talisha. Now the floor is open for questions and comments. How much does one sell for? Um, retail, I retail them for $4 each. And um, you can get them two for seven or four for 12. Thank you. As far as the kitchens in Sussex County, I think First State Community Action Agency has a kitchen to do this kind of stuff. And uh, last year, Lavender Field Farms, they were building one in Cool Springs. Where is that located? It's if you go straight down line here and you go through Georgetown before you get to Lewis, you'll get to Cool Springs. Okay. It, it's Do you, okay. It's okay. just east of uh, Harbison. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was building a kitchen for this sort of thing. Okay. And also, um, that all of this uh, stuff that you're making now, these these cups or the candies and they're not selling yet, you know that's research and development costs. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. 
Other questions? Talisha, yes. uh, did you think about putting a label on the outside of your Oh, I'm packaging? sorry. That's one thing I didn't mention. Um, there's a student here named Tiffany Tolls. She's the one that made my logo, and she's going to do my label also. So. Do you have a uh, I, I like the idea very much. I thank you for the presentation, by the way, and getting off the ground on a very unique venture here. Uh, I've never obviously heard about this, and uh, you came across this by chance, and you decided that you were going to make these, and how did you decide on the flavors that you start? That's question number one. How did you decide on the flavors? Um, I t actually, I took a survey of my Facebook friends. I have like 1,700 Facebook friends, and then I, I just named 10, and then I took a survey of a few people in here yesterday, and um, I emailed a few of my classmates, and I picked the, the top five, and these were just a few of the top five. And you've sold plenty to these Facebook friends, no, I'm uh, sure. Well, actually, I have. Um, how I knew this would be a pretty good business idea, I was having a Facebook contest, and I just asked people to share my Facebook page. And I went to give one to somebody who shared my page, and then somebody else bought 10 that same day, and then two other people bought four. So it's, when people hear about it, it's like, oh, it's different. So it makes them want to try it. So part of your strategy to break even is how are you going to advertise? And I understand the outlet that you want to hit, but how are you going to promote the product per se? Um, I've, I'm mainly pushing them wholesale, more so than retail. So just going around to different businesses and speaking to the owners or the purchasing managers about um, supplying them in their stores. Have you, have you considered the fact that we have so many distilleries that are starting up in this state, much less this county, and even the cross relationship that you would have with the beer yes craft yeah. beers in particular yeah i've i've put a lot of thought into the distilleries and breweries thank you well i would think it wouldn't take long to break even <laughs> i'm hoping does it fla do the cups flavor the liquid that you put in there yes very it very very slowly dissolves the candy into the liquid so do you lick the outside or what? If you want, if that's, <laughs> that's how you want to do it. <laughs> um, what was the feedback? You said you went to the different businesses and purchasing managers. What was their feedback? Well, I've only been to a few, and they're all they're very interested. They were just waiting on me to get my food permit to come right. back to them. But okay. um, I think they're just kind of like curious to see what the demand is for their business. Yeah, and I think it'd, it'd be interesting too to see about shelf life with some of these. Um, different businesses, but I was thinking if, if you didn't lick the outside, there could be some sort of like, almost like plastic material that you could wrap around it that would make it last longer. So that, so after you take it out of the packaging, you could still have the, the inside where the, the liquid would go and then there would be, be an outside type, like a hard, almost like a hard soft plastic that would help keep the shape. So it's an idea to, mess around with research and development right yeah. that's a great idea Thank maybe you. peel the outside coating off when you did want to lick it yeah. <laughs> kind of thinking of but I have thinking. to ask why would you want to do that <laughs> <laughs> I, I would want them licking that <laughs> licking up the product as fast as they could, well, I'm, could. Sure, I'm sure if kids had them for a party or something like that they'd probably have to tell them not to do that <laughs> and since I have a favorite uh, flavor called licorice. Have you considered licorice? I have that flavor also. Oh, that must be fantastic. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. I really love your idea. I think it's so fantastic. I just Thank wanted you. to make a suggestion, uh -huh. if you haven't already thought about it, connecting with event planners um, in the area as well, because this is such a great niche and novelty item. I know a bunch of event planners that would buy them wholesale from you. Or like you said, kids' parties, weddings, you know, 50th birthday celebrations. I mean, it's a fantastic item that you could really um, uh, uh, gain your opportunity on. Thank you. Are you familiar with Etsy? Yes, I was on Etsy at first, but uh, there's a, there was more to it than I realized, so I'll, I'll probably come back to it. 
Uh, the, someone mentioned shelf life. Do yes. you have an idea what the shelf life is? Um, as long as it's stored in a cool, dry place, um, I'm assuming like a year or two, like um, normal okay. candy, like uh, regular wrapped candy, as long as it's not like dry, I mean wet or too okay. hot. Okay. And do you have any support doing this besides your family? <laughs> um, no, just him. <laughs> I mean, well, he's there like keeping the kids back because they're always like, Mommy, I want to taste it. But <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, that's, that's enough support, just keeping the kids out of my hair. And they can be on the payroll. They're official tasters. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, he also um, helps me, like, uh, uh, put them in packaging and all of that stuff. Yeah. He's, okay. He's pretty good. Thank you. S speaking of your family, we're delighted to have you join us today. Welcome. May I ask, do you have a business plan, perchance? Um, I don't at the moment. I have a um, SCORE mentor, Lynn Kidwell. He's, um, he's telling me I need to crawl before I walk. So he's, um, I'm doing this now as a research and development to see what the market is, and then we'll go into making a business plan. Even no matter what you do, you ought to have the remnants, at least the outline of a business plan to give yourself some, some bit of a road map. This lady here can tell you all about plans that exist and things you could do. The other question I have on a more practical basis, I guess, is uh, the cost of uh, $4, did you say? Yes. Did I hear you correctly? Is that, your, is that your price to whomever, or is that the price that the product will be sold at by the, by the is that the suggested retail price? That's the retail price. Um, so, my price to, um, to other businesses will probably be between 2 and 250 and so they could sell it 4 to $5. Okay. Um, it, it looks like not so large to me from here. Back in my drinking days, that would have made not quite a good shot glass. But uh, just, <laughs> but I'm sure it's delicious if we tried it. And it, would, it, make, it would go over very well. <laughs> might make you pace yourself. <laughs> you got a question? Nick's got a question. Um, hey, Jason. Hey, uh, Nick. <laughs> ideally, in how many uh, units would you like to distribute your candy shot glasses? Like and what would be your goal to like, ideally, like how many would you like to distribute at one time to like a um, store? Um, ideally, starting off, I think a thousand a week would be good, and then um, as I venture out and market a little more, more as, but I feel like the possibilities are pretty endless. Additional, <coughs> excuse me. Additional questions, comments. Uh, do you have your business set up as a legal entity? Yes. Um, and what is that? I'm an LLC. Excellent. Other questions? You mentioned that you would be selling them for 250 Can you estimate with you doing the work, which is what you're doing now, but ultimately someone else you might be doing the work, what it costs you to, to make them? Um, it cost me 47 cents each okay. to make them myself. Okay. And then you mentioned several hours to make a thousand? Um, it, ta it takes me about 30 minutes uh, to cook them and then about an hour and a half to two hours for them to set at room temperature. But if I put them in a refrigerator, it probably will set a lot faster. But, um, and so I would, from what, what I have now, I could make about a thousand and, uh, in 12 hours, so I guess eight to 910 hours. Okay, but that isn't your work solid, it's timing of having it settle and so on? Yes. Okay, so you could be doing other things like making sales calls on the phone, da, yeah. da, da, da. Okay, and then my last question is about your kitchen. You, you're sharing it, I mean, other people use that kitchen too? Yes. So you can only go there certain days, certain times? Yes. Okay. And yeah. you plan that ahead? Yes, ahead? with um, at Dell State. Okay, terrific. Food incubator. Good job. Thank you. Um, when it comes to uh, the Entrepreneurship Club, last year they put on the docket to go visit Tailbangers. And she produces dog treats, and she doesn't have to have a commercial kitchen. But I hope that you'll be able to go to that field trip because how she took from making that in a shed in her backyard to mass producing it and the ovens and things like that that she uses, you might find very beneficial to, to learn from her. Any other questions, comments? All right. 
Will you have a price difference between your regular one, your regular ones that you have up front, uh, or if someone wants a custom one, is it going to be a different price? Good question. Um, um, I think I'll have the same price, but a minimum order for custom, uh, custom flavors. 